This is former U.S. Poet Laureate and Long Branch, New Jersey native Robert Pinsky visiting his hometown a few years ago. A boardwalk out of season is elegiac. It's quite poetic. Um, the Springsteen music recognizes that. There are many movies that recognize it. I didn't think much about poetry when I was growing up. I thought I was going to be a musician. I went to Long Branch High School, as did my mother and father, my aunts and uncles, my brother and sister and my cousins, and I read some poetry there. But my main preoccupation when I was a teenager was music. The sounds of language also had to do with music, the way music makes you feel. That's what we mean by poetry. A song in the box in books, each element an instrument, the body still straining to parrot the spirit, a being of the air. Thanks very much. Pinsky recently shared the stage with 10 other poets from the Garden State at Jersey Voices, part of the Geraldine R. Dodge Poetry Festival programming at the New Jersey Performing Arts Center in Newark. The state of poetry is New Jersey. And I think part of the reason for that is New Jersey. If you look at a map of New Jersey, it's a miniature United States. Sometimes it feels like God himself be testing me, bluesing up my life, jazzing up yesterday pain. As a man now, I have come to realize how her fingernail was a little polished mirror she held up to the Medusa world, hoping to punish it with its own ugliness. It's a well-known subject for pride in New Jersey that the Dodge Festival, America's greatest and I guess longest lived poetry festival, has always happened in New Jersey. Tonight is another kind of uh, New Jersey patriotism is inspired because they're going to be, I think, 10 poets as well as me, and they're all recognized, distinguished artists. I'm going to read a poem called Arturo. I told everyone your name was Arthur, tried to turn you into the imaginary father in the three-piece suit I wanted instead of my own. I changed my name to Marie, hoping no one would notice my face with its dark Italian eyes. Arturo, I send you this message from my younger self, that fool who needed to deny the words WAP, guinea, grease ball, the anguish of sandwiches made from spinach and oil, the roasted peppers on homemade bread, the rice pies of Easter. I grew up in the Riverside section of Patterson. I didn't speak English when I went to school. And I, I really got a lot of help from teachers and librarians. My parents couldn't help me with school because they didn't speak English. So uh, they were not educated people, they, but they were encouraging. I smile when I think of you. Listen, America, this is my father, Arturo. I am his daughter, Maria. Do not call me Marie. If you know anything about poetry, you most likely know who Walt Whitman was and that he called New Jersey home. Buried in the city of Camden, the author of Leaves of Grass remains America's most iconic poet. Both William Carlos Williams and Allen Ginsberg were from Patterson, New Jersey, where Maria Maziotti Gillen has run the Poetry Center at Passaic County Community College for over 35 years. So let me get back to sitting in the wind alone among the pines with a pencil in my hand. After all, you had your turn and mine will soon be done. Then someone else will sit here after me. Thank you. One of the things I've always tried to do is to help other poets because I think it's very hard to get known as a poet. It's very hard to break out of a little tiny place where you're from and have anybody hear you 
and know about you. And I always like to t help other poets to have that opportunity. This is an opportunity for them to be heard on the same stage with Billy Collins, who obviously is a major poet, and uh, to, heard, uh, to be heard by other poets, to get opportunities to be heard by editors, to be invited to read other places. And I love that about what I do here, that I give people a door that they might step through. Here we go, one. Over the years, we've met many New Jersey poets here on State of the Arts. Allen Ginsberg, Amiri Baraka, Gerald Stern, Patricia Smith, Paul Muldoon, C.K. Williams, Marjorie Burns, and Joe Weil, whose work often involves vivid images of his hometown, Elizabeth. Grimy Elizabeth, Time Magazine intones. This city escaped the race riots, never quite sank, and consequently never rose. It's not a town for poets. You live here, you work the factory or a trade. Down the burg in Peterstown, Italian bricklayers sit on stoops, boxes, chairs, playing poker into 1 a.m. Drive up Elizabeth Avenue, and you'll hear the salsa music blast from every window. Even the potted geraniums dance. So you have all these languages, and the food, and the poetry, and the music, and the jokes, and the folklore of all those languages jangling together, doing business together. You know, the state is, is at a crossroads, and crossroads are always places where stories get exchanged and differences get to collide and make something new. Whitman said, a great poet needs a great audience. We have great audiences here in, in New Jersey. The New Jersey State Council on the Arts, encouraging excellence and public engagement in the arts since 1966, is proud to co-produce State of the Arts with Stockton University, New Jersey's distinctive public university.